Hello and welcome to Autoboot YouTube channel. So today we are going to see how you can integrate Python scripts inside UiPath workflows. Okay, so uh, before we are going to start, let me do one thing. Let me create a very simple Python script which is having two functions. Okay, so, so the first function will be uh, for the addition and second function will be for the subtraction of two numbers. So we have to uh, pass two parameters and we need to get, uh, get the output and we need to return it. Okay, so that's a very simple uh, Python code. And for this, I'm going to use a spider ID and uh, let me write the script. Define, let me name the function like add a, b. Okay, then, okay, result equal to a plus b. Actually, this step is not needed uh, directly. You can uh, return the output. Okay, but I'm just adding one more step here. Okay, so that's it. Let me write one more uh, function a comma b um, result equal to a minus b return result that's it okay so this is our uh, python script and uh, we are going to integrate the particular script inside our uipath activity okay so um, let me do one thing let me save this file okay run it done let me try to call add uh, 2 comma 3 okay so we are getting the result as 5 so uh, the function which we are creating uh, created is working fine let me test the sub also 5 comma 2 okay so the result we are getting as a 3 so the function which we created is working fine so what i'm going to do is let me save this file let me go to the desktop demo um okay i'm going to name it like uh, um, sample okay sample.py and this should be a python file okay sample.py that's it let me go to the demo file okay so this is a file which we just created inside our spider id okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to integrate this python script inside our ui path okay so how we can integrate for that ui path is providing few activities which help us to call the python activities and to get the python object variables okay so we are going to see how you can call the python script and how you can get the python object variables and how you can convert that to the dot net variables okay so before that let me create a very uh, simple project process uh, python test create So it is adding the dependencies so uh, if you want to use the python activities you have to first install the python package okay so let me go to activities and let me search for python okay so currently there is no activities related to python in uh, our project right so what i'm going to do is go to manage package or package just search for python Okay, uipath.python.activities. So this is a package that we need to install. Uh, click on this and click on install. Click on save. Okay, and just search for uh, Python. Now you will be able to see around five activities which is part of the python package okay so let me describe like where these activities will be helpful as we all know this python is a very relevant and most powerful uh, programming language uh, using that we can do a lot of uh, process in a faster manner 
even for the machine learning or even for any of the analytic purpose like if you are writing some uh, piece of code python in, in most of the companies they will be prefer python for doing that because we have a uh, lot of uh, packages available ready made packages available and we can easily write the scripts using the ready made packages right and even i already did one video for creating one dashboard using powershell and python right so for that for calling the python script what i did i'm using powershell for calling that python script right so if there is a requirement okay i'm getting a few excel sheet or a few excel files through email from different teams and i need to consolidate all these uh, excel sheet and i need to prepare some dashboard okay so for preparing the dashboard or for consolidating all these excel sheet in some particular uh, pattern uh, i'm using python script okay i have one python script available with me okay but if i need to download the excel file which is coming from uh, email so what i need to do i need to download this uh, excel file from the attachment to some particular folder using ui path and i need to call this python script to create the dashboard right so there comes the integration of uh, ui path and the python so this is just a very uh, simple example okay so uh, in this kind of uh, situation we'll have to call the python scripts right so for that we'll have to use the python uh, uh, interpreter so for that uh, different steps are there so uh, for that uh, uh, ui path is providing uh, five uh, different activities which help us to call the python script or if you want to uh, write some code inside the activity that is also possible or if you want to call some particular function inside that particular uh, script that is also possible and if you want to get the output which is returning by the python script that also we can get it uh, inside ui path and we can use it for some other activity okay like this way different uh, activities are available so let me show you how you can uh, you utilize these activities to call the uh, function which we cre just created okay so let me do one thing let me go through all this activity okay so let me start from um, run Pyth python script okay learn run python script is nothing but um, let me open this open workflow so run python script is nothing but like if you have some uh, uh, script and you just need to execute it okay you don't want to return anything uh, as part of the execution what you can do you can just use this uh, run python script activity okay so here you will need to uh, just provide the path of the script and it will execute okay so this also need to be provided inside the uh, python scope okay so this is the purpose of a run python script if you just want to execute some piece of code or if you just need to uh, execute some file and you don't want to return anything uh, as part of your execution you can use this particular activity okay so that's it and uh, this is the uh, container okay python scope is a container so python scope will help you to connect to the interpreter okay to the interpreter and uh, uh, here you can choose like what is the target version whether it is x86 or uh, x64 that you can choose here and if you need to provide some timeout for your python script execution that also you can provide here and what is the version of your python install in your machine okay so if you don't want to uh, select some particular version if you give auto what is the version which is available inside the path it will auto select okay and what is a working folder uh, of your script execution that also you can provide so if you give this a folder path you don't need to give the entire uh, uh, path of the file inside the other activities okay so that is the purpose of a python scope and the next thing is invoke okay or this one load python script load python script means if you want to execute some script some uh, piece of code or if you want to execute one uh, file you can use this activity okay so what is the difference between load python script and run, run python script is run python script will just execute the script but load python script will return some value okay so this is the uh, python object variable which you will be getting as part of your python script execution okay so th that is the difference between uh, load python script and run python script so if you get this object instance what you can do you can use this object instance to call some particular method okay so if you are calling 
the file which we just created what will happen it will return uh, an object okay uh, python object instance and using that object instance we can call the particular method which you want to execute suppose if i just want to execute add or if i just want to execute sub i can preferably give the method a name and i can execute that method okay for that we can use invoke python method okay so let me drag and drop this activity so inside Py uh, invoke python method we need to provide the name of the method which we want to call suppose if i want to call the add function means i need to provide add inside double quotes and here i need to provide the instance of python object so what is the python object this is a python object here will be returning one output right so that is a python object so that we need to pass here and we need to give the name and if there is any parameter that need to be passed that we need to give it over here so it means like here for this particular method we have two parameters to be passed right so that parameter that we need to pass here and we will be getting another python object variable okay so that is the result of this particular uh, execution of this particular method okay so how we can convert that uh, python object to a dot net variable to output or to use it in a uh, ui path uh, uh, automation so for that we can use get python object okay so if you uh, use get python object it will ask for the python object to extract value from so we need to pass this output value as the uh, python uh, object and here we need to choose like what is the type of return statement okay so what is the type of value which we are returning here that we can choose here and what is the uh, variable for retrieving the output okay so whatever the value which is uh, there inside this python object it will uh, uh, copy to this particular output variable okay so that's how it is working so let me add up all the necessary details and uh, i will execute this particular script and i will show you uh, how you can uh, utilize these particular activities in your projects okay so for python scope what are the things that we need to provide we need to provide the python home path okay so this is my python path so let me copy paste it okay and the target is x64 and timeout i am not giving and version i am choosing as auto and working folder i am going to execute this sample.py right so i am going to choose this as my working folder okay so that's it the primary steps were completed and i need to use the load python script to execute the file right if i if i don't want to execute any file and if i just want to execute this piece of code what i can do i can just copy this and paste it inside this code okay code entity i can paste it but if i want to execute some file i already provided the uh, working folder path right so here i just need to provide the um, file name so what is the file name it's a sample.py so sample dot p y that is a uh, file name and here we need to get the python object right so let me create one python object load python obj okay so this is a python object for the load python script activity <coughs> okay so what's the next step invoke python method so i got an instance of this particular uh, script and i need to execute one particular method right so uh, i'm going to use invoke python method and here i'm going to call method add okay and what is an instance instance is nothing but this is our instance right so let me copy this paste it over here and what is the input parameter here i need to pass two input parameter right so i'm going to give the input parameter as four and five okay so if you add four and five we should get the output as nine right and we'll be getting the result over here let me create another uh, variable invoke python opj okay 
now we need to convert this output to a dot net variable right so for that um, let me give you the python object invoke python opc so this object is nothing but the output which we are getting from invoke python method <coughs> okay that i provided and what should be the output it should be integer and we should get the result right so let me name it like a <coughs> result okay that's it and i'm going to use a message box activity <coughs> And I'm going to print result dot to string. Okay, let me try to execute and we'll see how it is going to execute. So it just started the execution. Execution started. Now we should get a message box with output as nine. Uh, load python script the one or more uh, errors occurred okay so what is error the specified script file was not a font okay sample dot py what is the folder path which i have provided c demo okay okay so here in the script we need to make one change because the path which we provided is not the working folder okay that's why we are uh, getting the error so the working folder that we need to provide as the current ui path project folder okay so what i'm going to do now is let me open this uh, um, project folder open project folder and i'm going to copy our python file to this working path copy paste it okay and we have to provide the working path as this uh, project folder path let me go to project scope okay so that's it so after that uh, we are going to load a sample.py so the file is there inside the project folder sample.py and we are invoking the uh, method add and we are getting the uh, python object and we are converting uh, that to the result variable and we are outputting that right so uh, what should be the result we are passing uh, 5 and um, 4 right 5 and 4 as the input so invoke method 4 and 5 as the input so we should get a result of 9 so let me try to execute this okay so we got the result as 9 so this is how you can uh, execute the python script and how you can get the output uh, which is written by the python script in your uh, uipath workflow okay so hope uh, you are clear about this concept and if there is any confusion uh, regarding these activities please do comment in the comment section i will try to find the solution and uh, help you out okay so if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching the video. Bye.